Here we have a Lambretta 1961 Series 2. Um, we're going to be converting this over to electric. That is the electric kit on the table over there. This has still got the old petrol engine in. It is a straightforward swap. No special tools required. We're going to be using this little black toolbox over here. There's nothing special in there, just sockets and spanners. This is all original, nothing's been touched. The kit we're going to install has got a hub motor. This comes bolt up. A hydraulic disc brake connected to the swinging arm. Your control box, which is the brains of the kit. We give you a new rear brake cable, throttle cable, clutch cable. This is a plate that will go where your petrol tank and your airbox used to be. That battery gauge basically sticks out the hole on the top and you've got a charge port where your petrol tank hole used to be. You've got a battery tray plate over there, headlight bulb, taillight strips, and a 12 volt DC horn. That is all the parts of this kit. The next thing to do would be to remove all of the cables attached to the engine. And once cables are either cut, remove nicely, however you want to do it, take the rear shock off, take the engine bar out. You can then just drop the motor down Pull it out. You don't need to take off these uh, rear floor runners, but it does make the job a lot easier if you do. Once the engine is out, take your petrol tank out, your airbox and your toolbox in the front. Essentially everything in this area gets bolted out. Step one in installing the Lambretta kit is to take the swinging arm with the box. You're going to slide it in under the frame, lift it up, stick the engine bar in. For your shock, you have this plate over here. It's held on by three bolts. I'm going to remove that. Slide that on. Your throttle cable will be routed the same way the original one was. You can route the clutch cable through the exact same place it used to come out on the right side of the frame or you can reroute it to come out with the throttle cable as they are both going to the exact same place. Your throttle will want the nipple on the TPS unit. So you're gonna clip this into that hole down there. The clutch cable wants the opposite end, which is the plain cable, nothing on the end, so that I can go through that hole and we can fit the fittings right about here. Once you've got your inner pull through and clipped into position right over there, you can then take your throttle outer cable, bring it over, measure it up. Keep in mind you want to leave a bit of slack on this outer for the travel of the swinging arm up and down. So don't cut it too short. Longer is better than too short. You can now just feed your inner cable into your outer all the way to the top. Once you've cut your outer cable to length, you've got your inner back through. You can then take this piece of rope, pull it back out of the spring and feed your inner cable straight 
into the roll. Now this is the part where you get your little fitting. As I said, it can be in a plastic housing. You can cut the plastic housing off and just use the copper piece. Once you've screwed that open, you can now feed the inner cable through this fitting. Straight through the hole on the switch. And there should be a hole at the back of your box that the outer cable can go straight through. Now you want to take this piece of rope and do the exact same thing but in the opposite direction. Once you've got the rope through the brass fitting, you can slide it back till it pushes against that spring. Keep going back that there is a bit of resistance on the spring which will give you a firmer clutch feel when you pull it. Once you've tightened up this fitting, rope through. This is with the top hat on. This particular bike needed a little bit more resistance on the spring. So I've added a top hat as a spacer. You're going to want to pull your clutch all the way in till you hear the click. Take your cable cutter, leave a little bit of length sticking out the back and just cut. So when you release it, the end of the cable is always outside of the box and won't get stuck on the hole that it goes through over here. To lock your two gear cables off, which you see over here, you would have cut them when you removed your engine. You're going to want to open up your headset. You'll want to locate this pulley over here on the left side. You're going to just take a screwdriver, pull the inner cable back a little bit. You don't have to remove them completely. Now by pulling these inner cables up a little bit and letting them loop, that gives you space down at the back to cut the outer cable a little bit shorter. Once you've got the inner cables sticking out a little bit, it does not matter the length, you can then take your little cable clamp. We provide this in the kit. All you do is just poke the cable through. Make sure your gear select lines up in neutral when you pull on the cable. And it's the exact same on the other side to counteract the first clamp. And they should look something like this when you are done. Two clamps, you can cut the extra ends off and put a bit of heat shrink over that and that can just lay against the frame right there. So your end result after locking those cables off should look something like this. Now you might have ever so slight movement on this part of the handle, but it is locked off. The other option for some people is to drill a hole through that tap a bolt in that presses on this rod and also locks it. That is another option. This is how it should look on the cables when you are done. But if heat shrink, just tuck it out right out of the way.
when you're ready to do the wiring from the kit down there to the wiring loom of the scooter brown on a limbretta is usually 12 volt power that is the only wire out of all of them you should need if you have an original loom this is an original loom that came out with the scooter now this junction box unfortunately won't work for the application that we need we're going to be removing this as we only need that one wire now there's many ways of connecting wires or how you could do this for the purpose of this scooter we are putting a new junction box right there from your kit you'll get a yellow and blue wire blue is earth I'm going to be putting a ring terminal on the back there, slip it over there, tighten the new junction box down, and that will provide earth for all the lights. The yellow is going to go to the brown, as that is 12 volt. You'll also have a red and black wire. Those are your battery gauge wires. They can just hang loose until you get to hooking them up to your battery gauge, which should be up under the seat. Next, you'll want to get your battery plate, which is this plate over here. You'll have bolts in them. Remove your nuts. The bent front part of this plate slips into here. On this particular scooter, we're going to be taking this hydraulic reservoir. We're going to mount it off of the bolt here. Normally, you can drill a little hole up here and the reservoir will sit up there. The pipe will be long enough. But on this particular scooter, we're going to change one of these bolts out to hold this. To install your brake cable, you'll want to feed the outer to the stop in the frame over there and stick it in this adjuster on the swinging arm over here. You can then slip your inner cable through There'll be an eyelet on this side that will come fitted to this master cylinder over here. You'll also have a little pin. Mm -hmm. 